All right, welcome to Fly Horse Radio, the worst radio station in the whole entire motherfucking world. And I'm here with the homie Skip Rage. Yo. How you living, brother? Jeans. You know me, Mac, and making it happen. Shaft on 100 million, we in a goddamn building, nothing busted through, but the ceiling. You dig what I'm saying, baby? I dig what you're saying. Let's do it. So let's get to the business. Um, you was telling me why you quit Cognac. What, what's that about? Oh, nah, man. Listen, I think, I think Henny is the death of us. Oh, fact. Oh, my gosh. Like... Black people, we 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 drink Henny and Douce and shit like it's motherfucking cold right of now. water. You dig what I'm saying? Right. So with me, um, I had two different experiences, bro. <laughs> Yo, and I'm gonna get to it. I get to it. I'm gonna yeah. tell you right now. About five years ago, uh, it was uh, after a show. Yo, I ain't even fucking performed, bro. Mm-hmm. It was one of those shows where it was uh, niggas was giving us like free bottles of Henny all night. Yeah. So I'm going ham. Mm-hmm. Yo, my manager at the time, right? He was like, yo, Skip, I think you should slow down. You should chill. I'm like, nah, I'm good, baby. Yeah. That was the last thing I remember. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the next thing you know, I wake up. I'm in the car, right? Mm-hmm. I'm in the car. I wake up. I'm like, go back to sleep. I'm just in and out. And next thing, I piss on myself, bro. Oh, that's terrible. I pissed on myself, bro. It's always terrible when you when they piss say on When they say pissy drunk, I never knew the meaning of that. I thought that was just like a figure of speech. I never yeah. knew nobody could be pissy drunk. And I was Henny, bro. Um, Shout out Hennessy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Cognac, period, bro. It's sweet to us. And this yeah. dude shit is sweet as yeah, fuck. Yeah, I know. Then it's, uh, Shout it's out Jay Z, though. It's facts. delicious. The, the the second time, nigga, I, I fell down like like a year or two ago, I fell down the train, uh, you know, the steps. Yeah, the yeah. The train, bro. Yeah. yeah, I thought I it was, was just gut. A steep, too. Yo, bro. boy. Normally, I don't even get on the train being wavy. Yeah. It was just like a nice day. I was like, yo, uh, I was I was coming from the strip club. <laughs> like, they got like these um day strip clubs in New York. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it was uh, hanging out that night. We went to the studio, and after we went to the strip club in the morning, yeah. my boy, he was like, yo, Skip, just come to my crib. You know, you can just chill out because you're a little wavy right now. I'm like, nah, I'm good. You ever get so drunk and you just still feel like you feel like yeah, you, you feel like you're good, but you good. know you, in real life you're My not really nigga, good. My nigga, I ran for the fucking seven train. I, I yo, I skipped like about three steps. Came, yo, you ever see like in the comer- uh, uh, cartoons where a nigga falling down and shit and the smoke is coming out, yeah, tumbling down? Yeah. That's how the fuck I was down that That's motherfucker, terrible. bro. And then um, even the workers they came, they picked me up. They was like, yo, I was like, yo, you all right, man? You all right? <laughs> I'm like, yo, listen. I'm good. I'm good. He's like, you need us to call your ambulance? I'm like, nah. they like, you bleeding. I'm like, word? I was just bleeding from my hand and shit. Oh, okay. I took a bandana off my head, wrapped it up wrapped real quick, up. got on there like a real soldier. Cause I ain't True got, soldier. Yeah, I ain't, got my ins- I ain't got no insurance right now, so we ain't got time for that. I hear you, you man. Know? None of us got motherfucking insurance right now. Facts, man. And Trump's trying to make sure we never get Crazy, insurance. Bro. Yeah, it's just Crazy. nutty right now. So you was talking about the, the L train, right? I think that was the 7 train. The 7 train. The seven, yeah. How is the subway system running right now? Cause I heard um, some shit getting shut down and shit like that, right? Well, I mean, I don't be, I don't really be in the subways too much, you know. I'm, I'm I mainly just do car service all day. I feel but you. um, days that I feel like hopping on the train is is pretty, it's pretty cool to me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I but dig you. I mainly be on my fucking um, Juno and Via shit. You know what I'm saying? I can't fuck with like Ubers and Lyfts anymore. Yeah. Well, I can see why you get kind of pissy drunk, my nigga, because I I lightly poured the Pepsi yeah. and my shit, and you went straight raw with it. Yeah, 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 bro. It's, it's over, bro. <laughs> it's over. And then I'm out here. Niggas got me out here in Texas, bro. Yeah, we in oh, Texas right now. Oh, my gosh. It's like I, I'm i used to thick black women. Yeah. You heard? There was a couple of Beckys last night I'm looking oh, at. Yeah, I'm definitely. like, yo, definitely in the that water. homegrown. I nev- but I never seen a white girl so naturally They smoke thick. weed and they, they got and fatties. Thick, though. And, and no, like body but banging, listen, bro. You know the blowjob Ugh. games is crazy, too. Oh, all right. I That's mean, a whole different level. You feel me? Bird, Fly horse well, you know, I, I don't even know yet. Yo, so this I, is my nigga Skip's first time. <laughs> In Austin, Texas, he down here for South by Southwest. Well, this is a South by Southwest edition. So if you see the background and everything looking different, it's a, we're in a different studio right now because my homeboy Evan, where we usually record at, he getting big money. He got Warner Brothers over there next door. So he's getting a big check. So I cannot hate on that man. So I'm happy for my boy Evan. Coming up, we have Fifth Street Studios. I'm with the same old crew. You already know how we do. Bang. So let's get to it. Bang. My nigga... Skip Rage got one of the hardest tracks out right now, and that's a fact. Yeah, 
Yeah. I be throwing up gang signs, don't even know what this shit means. And wish a nigga do something, I'll be all night. Blowing out by the precinct, police ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah. Two troops we rage. Two troops we rage. Two troops we rage. Two troops we rage. My shit with a room full of women, hands on the wall. Tell that bitch is so in the position. Thank you. Throwing up gang signs, nigga, Don't even right know now, what man. This shit mean. You know what <laughs> Yo, saying? when are you gonna do a video for that shit? Um, uh, after South by Southwest, I gotta uh, head to, to uh, LA. Yeah. Um, then I gotta go back to New York. Then I gotta mm -hmm. hit Atlanta for some shit real quick. And I'm coming back to New York, and that's when I'm gonna shoot the video. You so, know. So I want to know, bro. What do you have a vision for that shit already? I definitely got a vision. I mean, when you listen to the song True Troops, yeah. It's 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 right there, you yeah. know. Um, you know, my point is saying like I be throwing up gang signs, yeah. don't even know what the shit mean, Ooh. and wish a nigga do something. Like the whole fact is, it's, it's a mood, bro. You ever like listen to like? Yeah, you gonna like, have to play that for them when we yeah, leave yeah. out of here. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. They like rap too. I know my nigga right there. Like oh, I want to see what this man's all <laughs> yeah. about. Dang. Bro, you about to go, bro. Okay, you next up, my nigga. Police ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah. Two troops, we rage. Two troops, we rage. Wow. <laughs> nah, but for real, it's a it's a mood thing. Like, yeah. You ain't gotta be a gang member or nothing to throw up gang well, signs. Nigga, with... no, but the, hold on, I'm not <laughs> trying to interrupt got, you. Got, got, got. But just like facts, though, when a good song go, come, come on, on, come on, you can have a white kid from the suburbs. He don't even know what he's there throwing go. up. There he gonna go. throw it up. He there gonna be go. banging. He gonna be banging there for that go. night. There you go. You feel me? There you go. So facts. Yo, all my niggas, I got, oh, I got niggas as bloods. I got niggas as crips. It's, it's, it ain't, yeah, there ain't nothing. New York but shit. yo, it's real shit. Like these the homies and all that, but. You know when you in the club, you in that do say you chilling song. Come on, I don't Facts. give a fuck. You could be driving in your car, headed downtown, wherever you going. You but you gonna be stacking. throwing up some gang signs when, <laughs> when shit. Come on, nigga, you throwing them shits up. Nigga. That's fact. You know what I'm saying? It's all a mood, you know. And then it's like, and then in the second line when I say, um, um, smoking loud in front of the uh, the precinct, police ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah. Even that's just that just shows the rebel side of. Shit, like, niggas yeah. don't care about no police. We Back out here, show. we gonna do what we do. Back you know, show. and definitely in New York, like, niggas gonna smoke they loud outside. Niggas is gonna piss outside. Niggas is gonna get drunk outside. Niggas is gonna whatever or whatever. And so, y'all niggas is very dangerous with that. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry yeah, for yeah. interrupting niggas you. Care. Niggas is telling me, like, even even with you, before I came in, you like, hey, niggas will rush you for walking niggas around drinking savage out, here. out here. But when I went back to New York, because I'm from old New York, but when yeah. I went back to New York, because I actually did a show, I went on, like, a mini tour. It's probably, like... Three years ago or something yeah. like that. Actually, I performed where Telly and them was having a chocolate Sunday at. Chocolate Sunday joints, yeah. But yeah. I performed the week after somebody got shot in that motherfucker. I don't know if you remember that. I think it, somebody bring a hammer in there. Yeah, I remember they, they shut say, the shit down. Yeah. Somebody bring a hammer in there. That was our shit, man. That was our party. It was but rocking, I ain't gonna bro. Front. I was happy because a lot of niggas that went to Chocolate Sunday actually came there and was thinking it was Chocolate Sunday, but yeah. nah, it was Norman Bay Sunday. You feel me? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but shout out Telly. Um, how did you link up with Telly? Uh, shit, man. This is probably like um, like nine years ago, maybe. Yeah. Um, I was just like a big fan of Ninja Sonic. Facts, facts, facts. Shout out Jaja fan. too. Yeah, Jaja. Yeah, I was a big fan of Ninja Sonic. And Team Wolf. Shout out Team Wolf. Man. Yeah. So it's it's funny. Um, you know, hanging downtown. You know, we all hanging in the same area yeah. type shit. So it was like you know bound to happen. Like mm -hmm. he the homie. You know, those are homies right there. Jaja definitely man. But yeah, he's alcoholic you know, it's, man. <laughs> Jaja, that's the homie, man. Well, no we facts, all we man. all be wild. We all be drinking, man. But we get we get it together. We got yeah, it together. Y'all niggas got your shit together, man. Shout out to the homie. Shout out to Ninja Sonic, man. Facts. They about to come up with something new too. Right? Yeah, that's what that's what Telly was saying. Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. supposed to send me some music. Telly, send me that music, bro, so I could mm -hmm. DJ that shit when I'm nah, out he here. He definitely got some bangers. Yeah. That 
that he Wu shit. Yeah, and yeah, he just moved to ATL too, right? Yeah, yeah, he ATL. Yeah, yeah, that nigga got go big land. I seen yeah. that shit. I said, bro, <laughs> congratulations. My yo, nigga got listen, big land. man, that man deserve it, man. Oh, he fact, worked hard. He, work he put a lot of niggas on. He worked hard. He put a lot of niggas on and put a lot of niggas on like a new wave. Like, yeah, I'm not going to yeah. front. You know, no disrespect to Manolo, no disrespect to anybody in New York that's doing what he did. But, like, I've never seen black dudes start doing the whole mosh pit shit into Ninja Sonic, bro. They, they're, they're originators of the mosh pit, bro. That's a fact, though. Yeah. Nobody could ever take that away from them. They was the first rap group to start having the mosh pits, niggas... Throwing niggas are off the stage yeah. on two niggas I mean, to get yeah, caught. It's, all, it's everybody all homies though, so it's no, not no, like, no. It's a beautiful single, thing. You can't single people out, like yeah, you know I mean, no, like, no, 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 no. I'm not. They I'm not. all fam. Everybody yeah, fam. Everybody yeah. fam. So it's like it's all it's. No, it's I definitely, all, I definitely didn't mean it that in yeah, that way. As far as like bridging the gaps, it's like Ninja Sonic. I, I would say is one of the the OGs the, the of the shit. Yeah, yeah, the forefront of it. Yeah. Um, and it's definitely with me being from Southside Jamaica, Queens. It's yeah, like facts. I'm from I'm from deep in Queens. Niggas in Queens don't know what Ninja Sonic. Is. Niggas don't know about that down south. I downtown was movie. that was gonna be my next question yeah. because you was I, that's why I was acting like how do you even know though because you're from Queens and you rep Queens hard. Too, yeah, yeah. I, um, the thing is like you know even being from Queens, I always been that kid that like to leave my block. Yeah, you you feel me? Like I love to leave my you block. You you the new nigga because you know back in the day <laughs> niggas that never leave their block. Niggas they block. So I I would leave my block. You know I would bring my friends with me. This was like even when I was like sixteen years old. We go to we will go to Forty uh, Second Street. Yeah, and just mob out, walk around. This is before niggas was drinking liquor and all that. You know what I'm saying? We used to just mob out, walk walk around, enjoy the city lights and. You know, as I got older, I was like 18, 19. Yeah. I just started taking the train to the city and just exploring by myself. You know what I'm saying? And That's then in Brooklyn thing. and in, in certain areas, you know. And, and a lot of. You holding it down worldwide. Huh? Are you holding it down yo, worldwide? Yo, man. I'm, 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 yo, listen, man. In New York and shit. Yo, we out here, bro. Because low Never key, I'm not, I'm not trying to blow you up. You know what I'm saying? No police, no none of that shit. Mm -hmm. But I know that. I, 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 I recognize that you walk around with the heavy artillery. I mean, hold me? on, hold on. Low key. You feel me? <laughs> speculations. Let's yo. Say speculations. Nah, I'm, I'm a, I mean, you know, th things be happening. Yeah. Things be around. Facts. All right. So I woke up this morning before I interviewed you. Before it's, I, it's it's put it like this, right? Yeah. What is it? Eighty degrees right now? Yeah. My coat real long. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know, I know. I know the trenches, my, my nigga. Long. But anyway, what I you see. Saying? I see niggas come out in the summertime with bubble gooses on. <laughs> I know the trenches, man. <laughs> Yo, but yeah, got I was gonna say um before I woke up this well when I woke up this morning, God bless Allah, um I woke up. I was like, yo, I'm going to interview this nigga. I can't wait to meet this nigga. I really, really like his music. I get on the internet, and the first thing I see is Shad Moss getting knocked the fuck out. Did you see that shit? Nah. Yeah, Bow Wow got knocked nah, the fuck out last night. Nah, that's the homie, bro. <laughs> You're wildin'. Who knocked him out? Because I'm going to have to go knock the nigga nah, out. Chill, that chill, out. chill, 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 chill. Free, free bands. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Future. It's the beat to the O-W. Wow, even your girl <laughs> fall in love when I smell the type of little guy you ain't seen in a while. Come on. Future and um, put the... Um, what what future be singing on? What's that auto future and I'll put the auto tunes on that nigga? Oh, bro. it was future in the nigga. Yeah. yeah, damn. Got well. ugly. I, I guess Bow Wow was talking shit, and then Bow Wow was like, and him and his camp was like, yo, it didn't go down like that. It was edited. There's no way you can edit that, my nigga. Burn. That nigga put hands on you, brother, and knocked you out. He didn't knock him out. It was cold. a group of people. It was like one person. Nah, one nigga. Oh, and then it was a group of niggas walking. Uh huh. And I guess they was plotting on him the and whole night. And they ran night. up on him. One nigga ran up on him. All right, so stressed him out. That's a chump move. That's a chump move. That ain't like... Well, I, I guess, but hold on, hold on. They said he was talking shit about Future, though. All right, and so but, usually when you talk shit about a nigga, bro... Okay, and niggas send the goons. All right, that's you, true. That's true. That's and plus, true. He's, a million, he's a million dollar nigga. Yeah. But not even, even if it was him or even if it was somebody else, you know, yeah. we from New York... 
You gotta stay on your P's and Q's. You gotta stay on your P's and Q's. You gotta watch what's going on. Yeah, you, you can't be, yeah. you, you know, marinating in, in, in spots I mean, that you ain't supposed I mean, to be marinating in. If, if you talking shit about it, nigga, you gotta be ready for the heat. Facts. That's it. You gotta be ready for the heat. Facts, you know what nigga. I'm saying? Like, don't, I don't talk shit about nobody. I be in my own world, do my own thing. You feel me? No, I dig you. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no problems. And if niggas bring problems to me, just be ready. That's all I gotta say. I you feel me? Understand. But, um, Damn, this shit with Bow, that's crazy, bro. Like, yeah. Bow ain't even about that life. Why he talking shit about future, bro? Bow Wow came out with the the, the freestyle shit, uh, drunk off of uh, what is it? Drunk off of uh, Blue Dot. If you don't, if you guys don't know what Blue Dot is, that's Puff Daddy shit. That oh, is Ciroc. Yeah. So his shit is called Drunk Off of Ciroc, and um, I guess he was airing shit out, Chris Brown shit, a whole bunch of other shit. But just niggas, talking shit about the industry. Nah, like just like. Just saying, like I guess, like false statements because yeah. the niggas. It one one of the I didn't listen to it that long. I ain't gonna lie mm-hmm. to you, my nigga. Mm-hmm. But I guess like one of the verses was like, "Yo, Chris, me and Chris Brown chilling the same building. Mm-hmm. I wish we was friends again and shit like that." And Chris Brown hit him with the emoji, like, "What? What are you talking about? Like, I don't have any problems with you." Yeah. And I and I mm-hmm. but, well, I know you about to cut in, not, not but me. but I think that he feels. You know how everybody wants you can you can only be Mr. Miyagi but for so long. You feel what I'm saying? About to talk about so that. I understand that you put Chris Brown on your fr- on the first tour, my nigga. But we was kids. kids. When Joel Santana and Chris Brown came out with that first song, my nigga, I I was a kid, my nigga. Yeah, we was kids. kids. Bro. kids. So I the like yeah, you put him on the first tour. Beautiful, my nigga. Congratulations. But my nigga to be riding on that and what is this, twenty eighteen? Yeah, bro. And we grown man, everybody pushing thirty. Yeah. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> calm down, my yeah. nigga. But that's the thing, man. I think that Bow Wow is still in his like, you know, he 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 wants that back. He wants the yeah. girls chasing him and this and the third. Yeah. But yo, it is nothing wrong with evolving, bro. No in hip hop, no one stays like it's it's rare. You get you know, you got the chosen few that stay the limelight forever. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, like Lil Jay, Wayne, like Jay Z, Lil Wayne, uh, Drake is th- these people but are not. It's cool. very, very hard for child stars. I feel like it, it, it's very hard for child stars yeah. because that transition, and then when you start doing other things, he started doing movies. Now he's hosting, yeah. so your whole brand now just shifted. You know what I'm and saying? You're trying, yo, to, you're trying to dig back yeah, into to the rap shit, yeah. and it's it's. I mean, yo, do your thing, bro, but don't come out of a motherfuckers because you claim you put them yeah, on, yeah. Um, whatever, whatever, but much love to Bow, but if Bow yeah, was here, I'm love. talking to him like, yo, hold on, man. Yeah, like, you got to relax. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, I, I really feel like, <clears throat> unlike a lot of other people that always put him down as rap shit, yeah. I feel like he he could be still a rapper, but I feel like yeah, he, he needs to go. Sick. He needs to go another way. He needs to just go at the girls. If he just go went, at the girls, like a LL you Cool J, you can't do that hard. Like you can't get yeah, some LL shit. Like you know because Bow Wow was about the shorties back in the day. Fact. He was about the shorties. And the shorties was all about yeah, him. Yeah, so when you start rapping that gangster shit, I'm you throwing it. Yeah, you like, bugging. You bugging. You feel me? Yeah, you like, definitely even, bugging. Even when you listen to my music, bro, like I ain't talking like. It, it's just hard shit. Like I you just talking talk, to what you living, living though, my yeah, nigga. Yeah, just that's, that's it, facts, like, though, bro. Like, like that's what true troops represent, man. Facts. True troops represent the struggle, bro. Yeah. And 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 we're all survive. Like it's about survival out here, bro. Mm-hmm. Regardless of what you do, my nigga, you survived nine eleven, my nigga. Yeah, whatever. Not that many <laughs> niggas can <laughs> even say that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Facts, though. But the, the, regardless, we still here. Regardless of your whatever you're doing in life. Yeah. You're still here. You're still doing what you got to do. That makes you a trooper. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've been through a lot. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say I've been through it all. Yeah. But I know my story and, and, and a couple of other people's stories relate. Yeah. You know what I mean? Regardless of we, But the whole thing is this, right? True troops and 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 and, and the shit I talk in my music is it's entertainment. Real talk, though. It's all entertainment, but it's yeah. real life entertainment. Yeah, you dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So, that's what we out here doing, baby. So back to back to True Troops yeah, throwing up gang signs. Yeah. When I like every time I listen to that song, bro, you don't have to take me. Yeah. I know I'm just a regular nigga that you yeah. just met. We just met. Yeah. We got mutual homies, so yeah. we like we like Eskimo brothers, low mm-hmm. key. So <laughs> are you guys some of my bitches or something? No, 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 no. My ex bitches. Um, not, nothing like it's that. Okay. No, 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 nothing like that. So I mean, I'm single. Just, I ain't got time just, for this shit. No, like just being like. You home, fucked you some know. of my bitches, no, bro. No, stuff a lot. Yeah, no, you did, bro. No, stuff Yo, a lot. look at your grills, bro. I rock mm. grills. Your shit looking better than mine right now. You got diamonds and shit. So no I'll be diamonds. Saying, Yo, check it. 
Obviously, all the bitches that like me, yeah. they like niggas with grills. Your grills is way nah, better. Nah, it's nothing like you that. You got it, bro. But I want to say- Gotta get some diamonds, bro. I want to say- Stop fucking my bitches, man. <laughs> Stop fucking my bitches. I know you fucking my bitches, man. No, no, man. no. Yeah, but I, wanna, I definitely want to say, though, um, for that video, bro, you got to bring that old school DMX flavor with it, bro. Remember them lights that was on Stop Being yeah. Greedy, bro? Yeah. I see that shit, bro. I don't yeah. know where to put it at, bro. Yeah. But I see that shit in your video, bro. Like yeah. that gritty New York shit because mm -hmm. gritty New York is coming back, bro. Yeah. Like yeah. everybody can still keep trapping. Shout out yeah. all trap rappers, no yeah. disrespect. Yeah. But gritty New York is coming see, back, it's, bro. It's, it's, that's what it's about, like. My music represents that. It represents gritty New York. Yeah. And and even that, I, I wouldn't you. even compare myself too much to. Also, want to DMX. say thank you. Yeah. Not 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 DMX, but wait, wait. just thank you just oh. for bringing that gritty yeah, shit yeah, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just said DMX just because. Oh, okay, of, okay, okay. But I want to bring it more into the lifestyle of like. But I live like I'm not a type. I'm not the type of nigga on the corner. Like yeah. I'm not sitting on the corner trapping. I've I've never done that in my life. Yeah. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to, I sold like Lucy's and shit. And yeah. Things. But I'm talking about on some. I'm in I'm in the city. I'm in the industry, and I'm doing what I do. You facts. know what I'm saying? Yeah, you facts. know what I mean? If you want to call me an industry trapper or whatever the case may be, but it's a lot of my you know, there's a lot of money out here when it comes to that uh, shit. You know what uh. I'm saying? But anyway, uh, <laughs> I dig you, brother. I speak your language, saying? but yeah. but anyway, you know that's really it. What it is? It's, I'm in New York, bro. I'm enjoying myself, bro. Like yeah. coming up, like. Oh, I listen to all different types of music. Yeah. And rock and roll, like 80s rock and roll is like, you know, one of my favorite genres. And and and, and, and that's what my lifestyle reflect around, mm -hmm. like that rebelness. But that bro, rebel story uh, and bro shit, I want to tell you, like, the whole New York sound, the, old, the whole new New York yeah. sound, you, mm -hmm. Manolo, mm -hmm. even, even, even my nigga... Uh, I knock your teeth out, punch you in your face, motherfucker. Oh, Casanova. Casanova. Yeah, that nigga dope, bro. Bro, I don't think y'all realize it. Y'all the new punk. All right. No, I'm being dead ass, bro. Just Word. being on that gritty shit. Uh -huh. You play that gritty shit, motherfuckers yeah. is in mosh pits. Yeah. Motherfuckers is elbowing each other. Yeah. Motherfuckers is, yeah. bro. Yeah. Uh, and no disrespect to nobody, you know yeah. I love a little rock and roll. Yeah. But let but let's 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 be real with each other. There is no more rock and roll. There is no more R rap. Is the new rock? That's oh, we it. got we got my nigga. It's my, my nigga, nigga Blaze. My nigga Blaze came through Blaze. with the new Jordans. You know what I'm saying? Nice glasses. <laughs> What's up, my? How you living? <laughs> you can get in Bree the Berlay. middle if you want. Bree Berlay. You get in the middle if you want. Matter of fact, to. yo, I gotta go take a piss. So come jump in here real quick. Hold on, I got one more one oh, more before you take a right, piss. All right, all right. Okay, so being from Queens, yep. Who is who influenced you? Lost Boys, Mr. Cheeks. That's it. That's it. That's I, I mean, you, you got beat. nah. You got Method Man. Like like these. This is my like influences in life as far as music. Yeah. Right. You got Lost Boys, which is you know Mr. Cheeks, Freaky Todd, and all that. Yeah. Right. Then you got Method Man. Method Man because his energy and his character and you know as far as the rapping and the acting and all that shit. Yeah. He's himself. You know, that's why I, I idolize nah, I that. I get that from you. Um, that's yeah. also why you had like 37 yeah. loops off of Vine back in the yeah, day. You yeah. was the Vine master when that shit was, I, was I was trying to get there, but I'm doing yeah. everything myself. I ain't got no machine. No, I, mean. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got machines low key. You know, but you're independent and you're independent, still doing, really your doing your thing. Myself. Niggas, will claim it. Niggas will claim independent, right? But they got a machine behind them. Facts. I'll tell you that right now. Facts. So, tell, right now for the cameras. But anyway. There's a lot of niggas we can um, call out too with that too. That's a fact. So yeah, <laughs> Mr. Cheeks of the of the Lord's Boys. You know what I'm saying? You got um, Method Man. You got George Michaels. I fucking love George Michaels. Rest in peace. You already see that. You see the rain. Yeah. The air rain. You know no, what I I'm saying? It. You already know we are. But anyway. So um, <laughs> Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? This is yeah. just some of the few to, to even, you know what I mean, put out there into the world. But, you know. That nitty gritty come from that real New York City, and that's that Skip Rage motherfucking true troops. Ooh. I feel you. Her? How did you link up with? Uh, I don't want to fucking fuck up her name. I'm kind of drizzy right now. Was it Naya Supreme? Oh, Naima Supreme. Naima Supreme. Oh yeah, Naima Supreme. You know that's the homie. She from Queens and all that. Um, one of my boys who go by the name of Seth. So, yeah. Shout out to Seth Love. Shout out to Seth Love and all that. Um, yeah, I guess I got together. It's huh? fire. 
Hmm? I tracked this show. Yeah, together as yeah, fire. we did that a, a, a little while ago. Yeah, but Naima Supreme. Um, yeah, we we linked up through a mutual friend, and um, we made a, a great record. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to Naima Supreme. That's the homie. She's still out here doing her thing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And she just had her baby too. So some congr congrats, congratulations, on that. Naima Supreme. <laughs> congrats on that. You know, so Facts. you know that's how it is. A Queens thing, baby. So, uh, a lot of things that you talk about in your rap, you always, you usually talk about, and I'm not trying to play you or you nothing talk like about that. anything, bro. When, when you rap, you usually always have some kind of shout out for Easy e Oh, Eazy man. Big, big um, that's, that's who I'm, uh, the West Coast, I'm heavily influenced by the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Heavily influenced by the West Coast. I think that's because of my pops. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace to my pops, the original Skip and all that. Yeah. Um... He used to always play the Easy es and and the NWA, the whole, you know, as a kid growing up. Yeah. That was his shit in the funk, funk music. Because, you yeah. know, a lot of funk music transitioned into, you know, the hip hop, the, West Coast well, rap music. The G-Funk. G-Funk shit. Like my nigga you know Warren G was saying. So, yeah, exactly. So, all of that, Warren G's and, and all, all of that. Isn't it crazy like, that Warren G was Snoop's best friend and... A lot of people don't know this. Mm. Warren G and Dr. Dre are brothers, a stepbrother. Word? I never knew that, bro. That's crazy, right? I know fucking Dr. Dre was in the group back in the oh, day. Oh, when he... <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool. I mean, no, yo, everybody had to do their little disco yo, shit back in the day. Yo, I've done certain things that's yeah, like, what I the feel fuck? You. What are we out here doing? But, you know, it's all figuring out in life. But, um, yeah, back to uh, the West Coast shit. Yeah, I was heavily influenced by that. That's why I got the long hair and shit. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? And it's like... A nigga like Easy E, he really spoke that that shit. You know what I'm saying? Even though Drake wrote most of it, whatever. Yeah, it was all good. It was. Ice, Ice Cube. Cube wrote most yeah. of it. But I mean, um, yeah, I, I love the whole West Coast vibe. That's and you, me, bro. you also, uh, no homo. You also like curl your hair up, like yeah, 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 yeah. a West do, Coast do, nigga, and some, and some of your shits. Shit, like, yeah, you ain't got to say no homo, nigga. That's yeah. real shit. Like, I love pussy, so I'm Gucci. <laughs> and I can walk around. If I want to curl my hair, put some barrettes in my hair, but I wouldn't put barrettes in my hair. But if I want to do anything I want, I'm going to do it because I don't give a fuck. Anybody going to say nothing to me, bro? So at the end of the day, the West Coast has a big influence. Big influence, you. bro. Big influence. I, yo, music, music itself, you know? Just the hip hop culture itself is just. No, that's, just, that's just like me, too. I love fucking West you know? Coast music. Right now, I'm in fucking Texas, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm 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 downtown. I don't know what spot was we at. I think it was Court. What's that shit called? Court something. I don't know. We downtown. To, uh, South by Southwest. Yeah. Best shit. A track come on, and I hear Southside. South, oh, yeah, I heard you so, playing that in the morning. Yeah, oh man, y'all, you, you see that? What I was. Bro, doing. you gotta get on that zero. Zero. And you gotta get on that. You gotta get on that. Uh, Big Hawk. Big you Hulk. gotta get yeah. on that R.I.P. R.I.P. Big Hawk. First of all, okay. You gotta get mm -hmm. on that. Um, who started it all? Uh, Texas Biggie mm -hmm. is actually damn kind of drunk. So I know a lot of niggas Yo, but, come out my but neck. check this out. It's like I heard the track and I'm like, I just felt that funk and it felt no, so it does, good. Yo, it was fast. So I was talking to these two shorties at the time. And they even started getting on their shit. So I'm like, I'm like, who this? They like, this is little Kiki. I'm like, yeah, this Kiki. shit hard. You little know Kiki what I'm a legend out here. Yeah. So I'm like, but, this shit hard. It's just like, I accept hip hop from everywhere, bro. Even like hip hop in fucking Amsterdam and, and France or wherever the fuck you from, Africa. It's like the fact that our culture, which which started in New York City, yeah. the fact that it's Spread it's, it all oh over the place. Oh my gosh, bro. It's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful it's, thing. It's a beautiful fucking thing. And it's self-expression. Hip-hop is expression. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's that you playing? Nothing. Hip-hop is expression. My nigga, we on an interview. And you on yeah, I'm trying to look at, because I know niggas going to come at me. Uh, I, and and I'm, I'm, trying, I'm, sure. try, I'm trying to find the... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to Yo, find the Yo, this nigga be taking my legend. bitches. By the way, no, no, he, no, 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 he, he admitted no. that earlier because he said we Eskimo <laughs> brothers. So that means we fucked the same bitches before. No, 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 That's no. That's what no. he talking about. Stuff a lot, bro. Right, you dude. fuck with my nigga, um, my nigga Star City. Of course, Star City, nigga, the big homie. I'm happy for Star man doing Star his art and shit thing, like that, man. bro. He's, he's very inspirational. You know what I'm saying? Even as you know, a person that hangs out with him here today, you yeah. know, we all outside together. He's a big bro. He's very supportive of the new energy yeah. that's coming out of New York, and he's always been that way. He's that always a good been nigga, a guy man. like that, man. Word. So I'm, ha I'm happy for all y'all, man. Because mm -hmm. all of y'all coming up, man, 
And y'all all, I don't think y'all know, bro. Y'all all are about to be the new New York shit Word. when it blows up, bro. That's a fact, bro. I just want to be that nigga. Yo, listen, you got me drinking this fuck. Yo, listen, if I call you tomorrow, right? Yeah. Matter of fact, you going to bail me out, bro. That's no, you ain't you going, going to bail jail me out, nigga, tonight. Because you got me drinking this fucking deuce. But you ain't going to jail. Yo, if bro, anything, anything you going to get some kitty tonight, and you're going to be relaxed. I, right? Yo, bro, I just be wilding. That's why I don't drink this shit no more. I don't even know myself after this. No, I feel you. Know what I'm, saying? I'm probably like schizophrenic or some shit. Like, I start drinking this shit, and then I'm just like, ugh. And then next thing you know, in the morning, I'm like, oh, shit, what did I do? You bugging. How did I end up here? <laughs> Are you, you're one of them niggas that end, that end up motherfucking, like, uh, drinking. You're, you're the nigga that, before you go to the club, you mad cool, and then when you get to the club, you get drunk, and you go crazy? Yo, it's like, nah, it's not even that. <laughs> I just find myself in weird, like, I'm not dangerous. Yeah. And like that. But I find myself in weird situations that get me in trouble, bro. It's just weird shit that happens that get me in trouble, and I'm not gonna say no more. You gotta relax, bro. Not off con nigga. We just had this conversation. You can't relax <laughs> with damn Kanye. You see me drinking it like it's juice. How many cups you had? I had two. You a slick motherfucker. You what you do three. is you get motherfuckers drunk in this motherfucker so they can talk shit. Yeah, I, you I, got to. I know what y'all interview motherfuckers do. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to because yeah, this this is this all is up. this represents the underground and yeah. all. And all the the newer artists that are about to come out and blow up, so yeah, I'm, I'm very very happy to even have you Thanks, bro. on Thanks this for, interview. I don't I don't me, I don't think people actually understand who I'm interviewing right now yeah. until they actually see you on the radio station yeah. and then they see you on the Grammys or something. Yeah. God yeah. bless stuff a lot yeah. that you end up going that far Thanks. and motherfuckers gonna be like, damn. Nice. That motherfucker was on Fly Horse Radio. Yeah, Fly Horse Radio. Shouts out to Fly Horse Radio. You already know what it is. Yo, B Bro you you been sipping? No, I'm not. Yeah. You I'm want saying. some Duce? Come get some Duce. Yeah. yeah. We got Bree Burley in the building. Yeah, shout out Bree. Bree just Brie moved here from Brooklyn. Yeah, I'm saying. And she, she, she living in Austin, Texas. Yeah, She's she doing her thing. Go ahead, take your right. take your pee pee. Yo, yo, shout out to Bree Burley and all that. Bree can come do. Bree, come sit down. Yeah, come chill. We get we got our, my homie right here and all that. We got we got we got our husband Sorry. in the in the in the trenches right Sorry. now with the new Jordans on and uh, that's my nigga, bro. That nigga remind me of of a style. You remember Styles off a of Team Wolf? Y'all niggas don't remember Styles off a of Team oh, Wolf. Wolf. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That nigga had the swag. That's my yeah, nigga right like there, a, man. My baby. My nigga Blaze and all that, man. Yeah, pause what I do say. We have Fly Horse Radio, like I said. Fly Horse Radio, you gotta what's pour, up? You got to pour a little bit more, though. Oh, yeah, I'm with it. Uh, we got money in here. It's all good. <laughs> we got to turn up. It's South by. South yeah, by. South by. Y'all might as well get drunk before y'all go out. Yeah. You had any shows yet? Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Oh, I here. finished mine, man. Oh, thank Where's you. Where's my manners? Here you go. Look at you. <laughs> This is my nigga can't get no bigger, fam. Yeah. You had a couple shows down South by already, huh? Yeah. You performed at Empire? One, uh, I actually, I have a show at Empire uh, at the end of the month with uh, the Riff Raff, that Four Loco tour. Oh, okay, that's a beautiful yeah. thing. Yeah. What did, you, what did you do so far this week? Uh, I did something uh, opening night, this like rave. Yeah. It was like a South by opening rave um, Saturday night, and yeah. then... Uh, uh, we got uh Thursday, this Thursday a big show coming up. Okay. Yeah. You guys are at the Clipboard. Yeah, a little pop up yesterday. Yeah, I'll be I'll be checking what's yeah. going on. Man. So what's going you on? Know at the, what happened at the Clipboard? I mean, it was whatever. It was whatever. Yeah, it was whatever. But you still, know how it is here at South by Southwest. It's like. Yeah, so there's so much going mess. on here yeah. that it's like but that's a dope spot like no definitely shout out to yeah. Clipport yeah and you're definitely a grinder man yeah you came all the way here from a whole different place and you're still you're making a staple oh yeah and, man. You, and you guys move around a whole bunch you guys really 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 hustle so i can i could never never or that's even let York somebody lifestyle there you know you know it facts <laughs> Facts. We always hustle. We don't stop. You know, it's crazy because we, we don't knew, give up. We're relentless. Like we knew each other, and I hit up a homie. You know, what I'm saying I I didn't know, but we both follow each other on Instagram, and uh, to interview. And you knew the guy, and that's so crazy because that's how much you hustle. 
You're just in the you cut. You talk about Skip? Yeah, you yeah. just you just in the Skip's cut in my, general. Like, that's my brother right there. Like Skip's yeah. like, yeah, we work together or like that's what's all up. day, like yeah, for real. I, I was see- like, Oh yeah, I was like, we what? I was like, dude. <laughs> I seen that you guys fucking went to In and Out. Yeah. Do you guys fuck with In and Out? Let's be real with each other right now. Yo, that, that was Skip's first In and Out. Do you like In and Out? That's why we let him Instagram it because it's like you're allowed. That's the one thing. Yeah. Do you like it though? I mean, it's good every one, every once in a while. Wow. You got to have it that one time. It's I'm good. Not, I'm not gonna front. I had In and Out because I, I like seen it. everybody eating it and shit. I was like, yo, let me go get this shit. Some Cali shit. No disrespect to Cali. I fuck with Cali, but your fucking burgers are trash. Water burger is what it is. Yo, it's so I different. Water burger is a good burger. Oh my god. Water burger is a good burger. The patty melt. <laughs> <laughs> Them niggas don't know about the patty melt. Yo. Then I can't tell you. I can't tell you. You gotta come to Texas and come get it. Yeah. The so what's water the burger? New, yeah. Particular. What's the new projects that you're coming out with? Oh man, I uh, well, I just dropped a new single. <laughs> What the fuck you thought? I can't get nasty. I can't get nasty. Teeth flinging, hair done, looking brassy. Whoa. Everybody hit the flow. We back in it. Talking about her ex, let it go, bitch. Let it go. There's too many dudes in the party to be worried about one. What you say, Brie? Yeah. There's too many dudes in the party to be worried about what? Yeah. Um, get that popping. I got. Uh, Where can they find it at? Uh, you can get it on YouTube at uh, um, breeberlay dot com. All that shit. Okay. Everywhere. Word. On the gram at breeberlay. It's all the same. Twitter, whatever. You can DM me. I'll send it to you. Okay. Word. If y'all can't find it, Spotify. All that shit. When you dropping a project, like a full project, like maybe Yo, an EP or something. I mean, right now I'm looking at singles. I want to do single, single, another single leading up to. Like the summertime yeah. festival touring season, and then pay, probably drop something big in the oh, fall. I dig you, cause it's all about the singles. Yeah, no, it's facts though. Yeah, right now that's kind of like what I'm looking at. Yeah, yeah, cause they're good. Yeah, my singles are popping. Skip yeah. knows. You got it. You, <laughs> even if Skip then no, you uh, always you always no, gotta you working. You yeah. always gotta put yourself on that plateau. Yeah. If you don't believe, nobody else is ever gonna believe. Oh no, they gonna believe. No fact. Yeah, but it's a beautiful thing that you got naturally because you believe and you got a man that believes in you. That's a and fact. And you guys are fucking grinding, and I and I respect everything. I mean, fuck. Like that, well, man. well. First of all, uh, we yeah. met. We Please. met. We met each other. Not even on some rap shit. We was just chilling that motherfucker. That's right. Hotel Vegas, yeah. and we just ended up riding with each other, and Blaze won me over. That's my nigga. Yeah. I ain't gonna front to you. I yeah. fuck with Blaze. Yeah, listen, my nigga. Shout out my nigga Blaze, man. Yeah. Fuck with Blaze, man. He Facts, me, though. He, he holding me down. Yo, out here in Texas. I, know I see you. I know where you at. Stone, man. Blaze gonna hold it down. That's a, that's a real nigga, bro. That's facts, though. Yeah. yeah. So how do y'all know each other? Okay. Uh, how do we know each other? From the LES, Lower East Side. Shout out to Lower East Side with all the Dominicans that will cut your face Just, wide open. Yeah. <laughs> no, we were in the cut. You know, we were friends. We were friends for a while. Like, you know, Skip was always uh, rapping like uh, crazy. Just like, ah, all the time. Just like super high energy, like. Like Skippy one of, having one of his the crews. energy. Yeah, exactly. like an unforgettable energy. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, you know, that was something I could I could never forget who that kid was, Skip Rage. Then it wasn't for like, I don't know, a few years later, we linked up. We were on the same bill for um, an event. Yeah. And then um, actually shout out to Natrice for that event because thank you. <laughs> that I was a good thing because I was like, yo, I know that kid, Skip Rage. And then, you know, we ended up just like reconnecting like yeah and then it was like let's work and like he, he you know he's hungry we're you know i was hungry i was like let's get this going so i started working and that was beautiful yeah. stayed well, in speaking the cut of, speaking of hungry skip rage how did you feel about in and out because i seen you fucking <laughs> Yo, um, instagram so it's, it's 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 hilarious man i'm out here 
Shout out to Blaze too and, and Bree. Like these motherfuckers is showing me the best food in the South. Oh, they right did. Now. Oh, I, wow. I want to hear what you got to say about this. Uh, right I'm gonna just tell you right now. I'm, I'm did wanna, you like it? Yo, man. I'm all about drunk food. Like, you know, it, 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 it was trash. It was trash. Blaze needs to bring you the water burger. Yo, you need great. to get Yo. the patty melt, nigga. Yo, bro. Uh, the uh, patty melt and the large fry, nigga. What? Facts. It's, it's nigga. so funny. I can show you the shit right now. I went to Whataburger. <laughs> Facts. <right? laughs> I went to Whataburger, right? Yeah, what you get? No, not Whataburger. I'm sorry. I went to um uh and then out. out. Yeah. And um I put it on my gram. Yeah. I've so seen a it. couple of my peoples and a couple of fans was hitting me. And they're like, yo, you got to go to Whataburger. And and, yeah. and we was on our way there, but I think In-N-Out was just like right there. And I was like, we were gonna go. we were yeah. Gonna go. yeah, yeah, yeah. We was just like, whatever. The that jungle is, fries are all right, though. Huh? The jungle fries? I seen you got the jungle oh, fries. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Recommendation. What was it like these Thunder, uh, what, Thousand Island sauce on that shit? I don't like even that? know, bro. That shit was good. But it's actually, the fries are that actually sh- all right. That shit put me to bed, bro. But that Whataburger, bro, you get that patty melt. Patty Holla melt. at me. All right. Facts, all right. though. Yo, best go burger there, in bro. Texas. Matter of fact, we going... Best day. burger in the world. All right, bro. Let's I'm not going to lie to you. Because I, I, I... Yeah, no, that's facts, though. <clears throat> I've never been to any other place that had a great burger. Like, a restaurant burger? Like, water burger? There ain't no place in Texas. There ain't no place in New York like that. Facts. Yo, bro, I'm just saying facts, The though. ribs out here is different. I think they yeah. be, like, chopping the animals up in the back and shit. Well, Yo, you know they get all their shit imported straight from Texas. Everything from Texas... Stay in Texas. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? So when we order cow. our ribs, that shit come from maybe from Texas all the way to us. You know what I'm saying? Fresh but cow. niggas can't fuck with our pizza though. That's facts. Though. I ain't even tried a pizza yet. Pizza trash, my nigga. Yeah, East Side Pies is alright. Yeah, right. yeah but I looked at the pizza and I was trash, like, nah. I remember, bro. I looked at the pizza. I was like, alright, I'm good. I want something like and, so and a slice, my nigga, is like five dollars. Yeah, they be wilding out here. They be wilding. <laughs> And it's wild. crazy because they get their dough from Texas. Yeah. We get our dough from a whole different place, uh, and we still charge. The highest you might catch a slice for is like $250, $350. Okay, okay. These niggas is charging here $5, $6, my nigga. You know a lot about food, my nigga. You already know I'm a big nigga. I see. I see. Well, I see. You know speak. a lot. He got it. <laughs> That's his topic right now, baby. <laughs> Well, speaking speaking of food yeah. and big niggas, yes. you actually had a puppet of Biggie in one yes. of your uh, yeah. videos. Uh, shout out to my boy, uh, Director Smitty. Um, Smitty, he's he's dope. That was his idea. Um, we actually sampled That's a dope ass idea. Yeah, yeah. We actually sampled um, uh, a Biggie song, um, and it was only right to throw Biggie puppet in there or whatever it, it, it was that that meant. Something to Brooklyn or whatever the case may be, and that's very very you know, dope that you that you did itself. that as a yeah. as a Queens nigga. Yeah. Oh Queens. well, I mean, see. Well, you already I told me I, you represent New York. Culture, You've been traveling. This culture period. Yeah, this culture facts. period. You know what I'm saying? Like this is all us from everything from the the the, the music to the break dancing. What they do get light now and shit. Yeah. I, I was getting light when I was coming up as a kid. Yeah. That was our form of break dancing. Yeah. Like getting light, you know, like chicken noodle soup and yeah. all that shit. Back Soda on the day. side. Um, right? The graffiti is is is, is 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 so good to see graffiti going on everywhere. But that's all hip hop culture, and that's what a lot of people got to remember. And even when it comes to the DJing, I mean, it's it's kind of sad that the 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 biggest DJs in the world. Uh, like, like, I mean, I'm not saying it's sad, but, you know, the electronic DJs and this, that, and the third, where some of these guys might not know anything about um, hip-hop. Yeah. You know? But still uh, hop in or, the genre. Or, or the kids don't know about hip-hop, so they think DJing is just like some... DJ, DJing required skill. Well, first of all, first of all, D, without the DJ, it wouldn't even be a rapper in the it beginning be because yeah. I, I know I know times change, but yeah. in the beginning, yep. the DJ put on the nigga yeah. that was, rappers was, was just a nigga that hosted like, the show. Yeah, like this shit goes back, you know, like in the seventies, like to the Facts. early to mid seventies, where you know before we was born, you know, we, we late eighties, yeah. nineties, and all that. So before we was here. These motherfuckers having these little park jams up in, in the Bronx. Yeah. The Bronx is what really started this shit. You know what I'm saying? And cool Herc. Cool yeah. Herc, of course. Cool Herc came from Jamaica. Started killing it out here. And, you know, just putting that them two turntables together, cutting these records. And then you had the MC. The MC was the guy that was that was 
hyping the crowd. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, just, oh, yeah, oh, just, oh, oh, yeah, just oh, saying oh, like little smoogity shit on the mic. And, and, and it's a beautiful thing. Rapper. It's like, and now that we're getting to that, I, I love that we're on this topic because of hip hop is everything to me. Let's talk about the new hip hop and versus the old hip hop. Um, I, I I don't like the fact that these old heads uh, are like. Uh, you know, coming at these mumble rappers, yeah. so to speak. But hip hop is a form of expression. Yeah. You know, this is expression. It's about expressing yourself. Yeah. So, you know what? Even you don't have to be lyrical. No, no. You know no. what I'm saying? You don't have to be. So lyrical. a lot of niggas that wasn't lyrical. I mean, Kwame wasn't that much of you a lyrical yeah, rapper. So you you had people that wasn't lyrical or that. But times have changed where where. Their mumble raps or whatever they're saying or how they're moving, the way that hip hop evolved is it's, it's like so many sub genres under, mm-hmm. you know. And I, I love it. I fuck. I love it. Like I always listen to like the Uzis, the uh, little Sky. It's about these, harmony. They're doing a yeah, little harmony, harmony thing. It's beautiful. Shout it's, out Bone Thugs and Harmony because yeah, they're true. definitely that's your kids with you know this harmony. I mean, you know, um, was that Zap and Roger? Was the first ones putting yeah, the little? Facts. He had the little voice box, yeah, you know. Facts. So that's what started. And then shit. you got a pioneer, another pioneer, which is T Pain. When we was coming up as kids, yeah. T Pain was that dude yeah. that was out here uh, with the auto tune, and then niggas were saying deaf to auto tune, and then ten years later, yeah, auto tune is the shit. Yeah, you know. But see, but Jay did shut it down for a little. He did while. shut it down, but now you can't <laughs> stop it. No, you can't. Auto tune, you cannot stop it. Uh-huh. I don't. I, I, I'm not an auto tune nigga, and I, I would not. I don't think. I don't think I tried it before. It's not my steez. But I get you. You get what I'm saying. From. I like yeah. to do it. Like I like my voice, bro. Like, well, one you know thing I, mean? I don't, I don't disagree uh, that uh, it's like yeah. I agree and disagree with you yeah. because I agree that any, any, um, and no disrespect to you when yeah, I say yeah. this, any like uh, rap minority. Mm. I'm proud that they're even making money in general because they could be on the corner robbing somebody, mm-hmm. selling exactly. crack, doing something goofy so, like that. It's it's like this, you know. But hold on, but hold on. I do disagree with. They don't know the history though. Dog. They don't know the history. They don't know the. That's history. sad though. But um, but it's it's up to the us to school them, and it's what they. Well, at least know. know at least know about Biggie and Tupac. I I don't expect mm-hmm. them to know about Rock you Kim. To, you don't have to like them. I mean. That's the thing, like we. But, have, but when we came up, we knew about rock cam. We knew about rock cam. We, we knew, knew about, about hip hop. Yeah, 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 yeah. These shits is way before our time. Yeah, you know, yeah. Public Enemy and all yeah. that shit. Um, it's the internet age, bro. Um, yeah, these fact. kids don't have. Some of them don't have interest in that. Um, they do it just for the clout. They do it just to be lit. Um, they do it for all the wrong reasons. No, I, I'm gonna say this. I'm not gonna say the wrong reasons. I'm, I, I don't want to say that. They do it for. Fuck that. I'm going to say it. They do it for the wrong reasons. Just to be cool. Just to be... Yeah, I'm going to just say it, bro. No I'm fact. trying to be nice. But it's just... They do it for those reasons. But some of these kids are making good records. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even niggas like my age. You know? Niggas that's in their late 20s. They doing this mumbo shit and all that. And it's moving because music is a vibe right now. Yeah. It's a vibe. It's not so much of the lyrics. It's, it's like you got to know how to... Whatever your audience is, you just got to know how to vibe to your audience. And that's what I'm doing. I want to make sure my New York niggas feel me and the world feel me and what yeah. I represent. No, I feel you know you. what I'm saying? Because my music is really my lifestyle. No, I feel you. You dig what I'm saying? Also, and, also, I guess it's like the gift and the curse mm-hmm. of like rap actually being the mainstream music of the world of. Mm-hmm. Yo, yo. Because we're like the first generation Bro, to see shit, this. That shit make me want to tear up. You know, rap is something new. You know, rock and roll was also ours. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. And yeah, it was a time Blues, when rock and roll was... Yeah. Jazz. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can get reggae. Right, everything. Um, what's the other shit? The dubstep, because mm-hmm. that comes from Jamaica too. All of that. Uh, every, pretty much everything. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> pretty but, much but, everything. But, but yo, it, but it's such a beautiful, beautiful thing how we impact the world. We know that we impact the world, and I can't. You can't go against it, man. It's like you can't go against it. No, you can't. You can't go against it. It's like going against the grain. It's gonna make it insane. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, we out here. We loving it. Everybody everybody, express yourself the way you want to express Do yourself. Do you guys have you know a, what I'm saying? Are you guys going to work on the track before you end up leaving out here? Uh, me and Berlay? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do something with the homie. Might as well do something with the homie. That's a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? We be kicking it, man. Like, we, um, 
I mean, shit, even from like, you know, when we was like, you know, she was in New York and everybody was out in New York. We all partied together. The link up was real. You know what I'm saying? This music shit, man. It's all about this music shit too. But her, she's a star, bro. Mm -hmm. She's a star. So, you know, we're going to make sure she lit. Burley! <laughs> Yo. She be grinding, man. She be Facts, grinding. Though. She out here. She doing her thing. Facts, you know though. Saying? Word. Oh, how, how did you feel when Rick Ross got a little sick and shit like that? And you know, yeah, and you from Queens. Let's just keep it hundred. You know, Rick Ross ain't gonna watch this shit. Nah, it's fifty just, cents. If he no, dies, no, no, they, he they, dies. Niggas be watching everything, bro. You're bugging. Don't yeah, have to say that. You actually right. Niggas watch everything. You don't even know, bro. Niggas yeah, watch. That's what's why going niggas on be on. stealing rhymes. Yeah, niggas know what goes on. We know what you're doing, Tory Lanez. But, but I can say, <laughs> I don't know about. But I can say this. I can say this though. Um, when it comes to Rick Ross, and I know what you're about to say, because fifty cent. If he Plus, dies, he dies. Yeah, he dies, he dies, and all that <laughs> shit. He did the Rocky reference. Yeah. I mean, 50 Cent is a character, like, and, oh, and, oh my bad. I should have threw him in to the people that I look up to. Yeah. And 50 is one. He 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 made me an a animal in a way. That's the, and oh. I got the animal from 50. Many like, men and all that all shit. All that shit. Growing up Early in high Southside, school, yo, man, niggas hey, want to fight. But, but we, all that. I, like, you got to understand, I went to a high school called August Martin. Yeah. August Martin is right up the block from 134, where, where he's from. Um, so 134 and God, God, God Brew. Brew. Yeah. So, you know, Lost Boys and all that. Move by to my Haitians, you heard? All that. So, it's like, you know, when that whole effect happened, when 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 50 came out, it was the most crazy. Yo. Bro, New York was would oh, never be the same. Oh, my gosh. So imagine the hood that he from, where we at, where he Bro, from. I remember in school, niggas was fighting over Dipset. Who better, Dipset or G-Unit? G -Unit, yeah. Niggas was literally fighting over yeah. that shit, bro. But, but 50, 50 <laughs> one thing about why you love 50, because when you know the real story behind the person, like 50 was really out here selling drugs and, oh, and, and, and boo -boo. beating niggas. And beating niggas. Boo -boo. Yeah. Beating niggas up, beating people up, and you know what I mean? And he's like 15, 16 years old, controlling blocks. You know, it's not nothing to idolize or whatever, whatever. It's just the fact of Fuck that. Story. Idolize it. Yeah. Because I, <laughs> I did. Yeah. I ain't gonna front. I ain't gonna front. But it's the fact that, see, where he where he set it off for people like me is yeah. the fact that you could be from the hood and you can you can make it, bro. So I wanna be that to kids across the world. Bro, it was so crazy when he got signed. Yeah, yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was so crazy when I see 50 Cent getting signed by Eminem. I Yo, was bro, like, Whoa. I went to school the next day. I was wilding. I mean, the whole, but everything changed. Like, I, we're, we're, this is the school that's in the middle of 50 Hood. Yeah. So we're all from this. We all knew 50, like, and on some music shit, like, pumping 50. This is before the internet. You remember so the, the mixtapes? The mix, the mixtapes don't oh, come on. Let's not even get to oh, that. Bro. Come I'm going, on, I'm going like 08, not 08. I'm sorry, 1998, 99 mixtapes with 50. Like back in the day. That's the sound you know of I mean? the man Got working that thing. thing. You know that what I'm saying? Thing. So, but anyway, so cut a long story short. Let's fast yes, forward. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 50 and the way he be acting and he said shit about Ross. I think 50 just want to keep that. Yo, I'm still yeah. from Southside. I'm still an animal and I don't give a fuck. This because them riches don't mean nothing to me. I'm still yeah. the same person. So I think that's something that he tries to like prove in a way. But then it's also to, 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 to how do you say, uh, to inspire kids from the hood. Yeah. Like, I'm still just like you. I'm rich, but yeah. I'm like you. And I'm sitting here, I'm saying all these silly jokes online and this, that, and the third because he wants to keep that relationship with the youth. Oh, I and dig he's it. inspiring motherfuckers. You know, at first he kind of threw me off. I was like, damn, 50, you, yeah. you, you too rich to be doing all that shit. You yeah. bugging. Yeah. Yeah. But I, actually, in all reality, I mean, everybody got a person. Everybody in this room right now is about... Or seven people in this room mm. right now. Everybody in this room right now got that one person or them two people mm. that die right now today. And you be like, fuck it. If he mm. dies, he dies. I don't fuck with that nigga. Yeah. That's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I would never wish, I, I, I wouldn't even wish death for him, like my, my worst enemy. Like, you know. You're a good nigga. Like, I'm, yeah, yeah, you know. You know, I think it's Allah forgive me. me. Allah yeah. forgive me right now. I just, I just don't. I got a couple enemies I don't give a fuck about. Yeah, they I mean, I don't, I don't gotta give, a, I don't give a fuck about you, but I'm, you know, the thing is this, right? Everybody cares about somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, if I got beef with this man, 
Mm-hmm. He got a family. He got a kid. He got this. He got a mother. He got a. I know you might not care. Well, Skip, if you got to pull that thing out, ain't nobody that's caring different. about that's, that. But that's that's if you a threat to my life. I kill a nigga if you a threat to my life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I I'm not you. no I, yo, my nigga. I'm not no goon. I don't be in these streets doing any of that bullshit. No, like, I that feel you. My lifestyle. I'm about protecting myself. Oh, and facts. that's it. That's it. I'm protecting myself and what's mine. You but there's got to be but somebody that you don't fuck with like that. There's people I don't fuck with, but where I'm at, like, in life, I, you, you, you know. I don't I, wish death on anybody. Yeah. I mean, if you die, I mean, I probably don't give I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. And start crying. Died. Yeah, you no, know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not going to feel bad. But I'm just like, damn, that's fucked up because I'm not thinking about him. I don't give a fuck about him. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck about him or her or whatever he done to me. He could have he could killed somebody close to me. But but the thing is this, because, uh, you know, karma and shit happens. Hmm. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? And, yo. Yeah, yeah, you said you know, fuck with... No, it's all good. I'm not trying to cut you. <laughs> now you good, man. Mm-hmm. You said you fuck with Mr. Cheeks. I remember the first time I met Mr. Cheeks in Albany, New York, mm-hmm. on a hot-ass block. Because, mm-hmm. you know, I, I know... Uh, being from the city and being from Albany at the same time, or mm-hmm. Troy at the same time, so that's upstate New York and the city at the same time. City niggas don't fuck with upstate niggas, and upstate niggas don't fuck with city niggas. Upstate niggas call niggas from the city the Mecca. You fucking with the Mecca niggas, and niggas from the city say you fucking with them niggas from the woods. So it's just a whole different, yeah. <laughs> it's a whole different beef yeah. there. But I met I met Mr. Cheeks in Albany, New York, on this hot ass block. He was actually um, managed by PPM Records. I know that is. my nigga, powerful, my, my, my powerful, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. I fuck with them niggas yeah. and shit like that. Mr. Cheeks was was on his comeback shit and like that. But it was just an honor just to meet somebody like Facts. Mr. Cheeks Facts. and um, Facts. coming from Queens and shit like that. Yeah. R.I.P. But how do you? How do you feel about Freaky Ty? Oh, I be Freaky Ty, oh, big man. goon. I mean, from Queens, a real goon, a real street nigga, yeah, he, he, real he, he official. Was, he, was, back. He, he was definitely a real one. Um, uh, his son, uh, Freaky Ka, that's one of my dudes. You know, for real, for real, fan for life. And um, you know, he's like, he's like a picture of his pops. You know, he is his pops in a way. Yeah. Um, and he makes good music and shit like that. But um, I, I went. not you know, as far as, you know, the Lost Boys, Freaky Todd made the Lost Boys. You know, you know that. He's a real one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Cheeks is real, too. You know what I mean? But it's like. Fuck with ODB, too. R.I.P. ODB. Yeah, R.I.P. ODB. Freaky Todd was real like, friends. These are, these are everybody I looked up to as a kid, bro. You know what I'm saying? I looked up to the to the ODBs, Wu Tang, and to the Lost Boys, and that's when it's probably me to do what I do, all that shit. You dig what I'm saying? But I'm a Queens nigga, so you know I grew up like an LB nigga. You know, LB was like a, a real gang when he was a kid back yeah, in the day, yeah, yeah, yeah. And real movement. Lost well, Boys is yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's, yeah. I think I heard that they're bringing it back. Lost yeah, Boys I mean, is Lost still Boys is official. Probably, it's like, I, I I compare um Lost Boys is like Zulu Nation. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like it's a family. It's something that we we really like Lost Boys is in my blood forever, brother. It's a you lot of saying? gangs off of rappers. Yeah, but I mean it's cult movements. It's a movement. Yeah. You know, like Zulu, movement. Like let's, I kept saying, like Zulu Nation. You know what Zulu mm. Nation is with African band body. What's the other shit from Brooklyn? Like, what is it? Brooklyn went crazy after Biggie died, but it's all in abbreviations and they're bloodshot. I don't I know. I forgot about that. I don't know, but I mean, I think everything is just passed down, you know? Like Everything is just passed down from your OGs. It's just like when you're in the West Coast and you're a blood or you're a crip, yeah. right? That's because your older brother or your block was bloods and they were right. crips. So in New Especially York, in New York. Yeah, in, in New York, um, everybody around me was Lost Boys. Yeah. You feel me? So that's why I was on my Lost Boys shit. Yeah. You feel me? Black bandana type shit and all that. You know what I'm saying? I got a white one on, but it ain't even that. Like no, the, Back in the day we coming up, it was just like- That's just a that neutral was, flag, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a neutral flag, but it represented something. It represented culture. Yeah. And it's not- It wasn't no gangbang shit. It was just like, oh, you LB? You LB? We fam. We fam. We see each other. But stuff a lot. That's how we all start, though, yeah, my nigga. that's how it all go. I mean, <laughs> nigga, when niggas was in, niggas got in high school, niggas was beefing, fighting, and all. Like, yeah, shit, like it was a yeah. gang and all that, but you know that shit you doing you young, you young and shit. But young and dumb. And if a nigga try to disrespect the fam, that's different. Yeah. So it was like that back in the day, you know. But 
I'm on my true troop shit, and that's that's my that's my shit, yes. and that's what we taking to the next. To, uh, you how know, was to it? How, how did it feel to be on Sway in the morning? Oh, Sway in the morning was pretty dope, bro. I mean, the the record True Troops actually got me there. You feel yeah, me? I know that. And, and it's that like record goes hard. <laughs> good looking, bro. <laughs> and I just dropped the record like three weeks ago. So well, now it's, yeah, three weeks ago it's about to be a month. Um, it's did a lot, you know. Um, a lot of people. Uh, as far as my following, they've been they know what I do. They know what I'm out here doing and yes, how I'm grinding and you know. And when I dropped the record, it was like finally skip drop a re- drop a record that and even a record that's that that we feel that we know that's real. Bro, that shit is so you, real. You know what I'm saying? And it's like and a lot of it is just anger, bro. A lot of it is anger. It's like it's an uplifting motivational type of record, but it's I gotta get it. I gotta get it. You feel me? So I want everybody to feel that way. I got people that um, they're working, they're, you know, working out in the gym, you know, doing anything, and they're listening to the song. Oh, that's they say a good it's so song for the gym. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's what I want the vibe to be, and it, and it it's taking in effect, and that's what got me to sway. And shouts out to Sway and DJ Wonder and my man PD Complex. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I see you. Bro. Word up, word up. So. You didn't think I did my homework, you know what I'm saying? I did my homework. Yeah, definitely, bro. I mean, you know, I mean, we all out here grinding. We just trying to make it an organic type of situation, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying. I'm trying to take trying out my vocabulary. That's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? So that's really it, bro. We out here, baby. So where can they find the album at, or what, what, what would you call an album or mixtape? Well, tape? right now I'm I'm not dropping no mixtape. I'm not dropping no album. Single. I'm not dropping. Oh, just singles. I'm just gonna keep hitting the that streets. That niggas on the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on a single type of vibe because you know. Do that buzz. Yeah, I mean, I just want my story to be to be heard. I so so when I talk my shit, you gonna hear my shit. Motherfuckers are listen to 15 seconds. That's why the Instagram shit is crazy. You put up the little 15 seconds, niggas hear it, they like it, they go to it. But to get your full point across, to get your full story across, and, and wherever the fuck you represent, and you have to like do it in moderation. You have to like slowly, whatever. If you got a backing behind you, if you got like, yeah. a, a couple of hundred thousands behind couple you, of you can throw records out all fucking day. Yeah. It's up to you. But I want people to know who the fuck I am. I want my. My my following to 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 grow organically. You know what I'm saying? Not like yeah, these. You. you know, sit, bro. You fuck with my nigga Queens Flip. Oh, that's the homie. That's the homie. Um, I knew Queens Flip since I was in high school. You okay, know what word. I'm saying? When we was um, it's funny when we I got pictures. Yeah, I show you some pictures. But like when we when was, he was skinny. <laughs> and I think um I think Queens Flip always was on like the um, Husky shit. Yeah, Husky yeah. nigga shit. And then eventually, you know, you Blew just up. Yeah. But when you eating good like Tony Montana, there you, you, go, there you go. Good. That's the homie, look. man. I and back when he used to um when he was in high school, he used to have his um music videos, you know, he had his shit the sidekick shit. Sidekick all shit. All that. It was the get light days. Yeah. I used to get light. I'm not gonna front. I still bust some moves. I don't give a fuck. I represent that's my culture. But anyway, and like old videos, you probably catch me in there getting light like mm-hmm. twelve years ago yeah. in this video. We was having fun, man. And nigga's Shiggy? a real nigga. Oh Shiggy, that's the homie. That's the homie. That's he used to live next door real. to me. Um he from uh Bricktown, Jamaica Queens and all facts, that. Facts. So you know what I mean? We um uh, you know, he came out to one of my videos one time or whatever. That's a beautiful whatever. thing. Bro. Yeah, yeah, he's dope, man. He's a, he's I dope. Love kid. I'm proud of him. Yeah, I love each other and show Yo, love to each I other. I mean, you know what it is in um in Queens. I think everybody is like prospering. Everybody that was like stars from even just being kids. Like, and when you talk about a dude like Shiggy, Shiggy always was like this silly kid, like in the backyard and shit. Like I, yeah. I used, to, I remember because he's like a couple of years younger than me. But I remember he used to always do like goofy shit. And I told him about it like uh, recently, like what you used to do when you was a kid. He used to come outside and be all silly and shit. He was like, nah, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, nigga, trust me. When I just moved, because I just moved to the neighborhood. Yeah. He was next door. His older brother, uh, his two older brothers, those my niggas, Sherlyn and Sean. You feel me? So those the homies right there. And um, I used to kick it with them. And he was just like the little kid. They used to like run around. But he was just a character. Yeah. You know, that's one thing with me. Like, I mean, besides that, I always see stars in people. Like, I see people that like, yo, you're something. Yeah. You're this, you're that. You know? So we all out here, man.
That's a beautiful thing. Man, beautiful. So, bes- besides that... Yo, bro, we killing this bottle of fucking... Yo, do say it's almost done. Yo, I'm drinking straight water after this shit. Be Word. safe, though. Be mad safe. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga Tax Stone, man. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Tax Stone. Facts, though. So, um, besides that, and, and Queens, I just wanted to say them people's names because I just wanted to tell the followers Queens actually has a movement. Yeah, definitely, A lot of motherfuckers bro. don't pay attention to what's yeah, really, yeah, really what's going, going on, on in Queens, yeah. Especially in fucking Austin, Texas. Man. Niggas be so lame. Niggas don't know what's happening, bro. Yeah, Niggas yeah. don't know the fashion. Niggas don't know the ski I love. mean... I told a I told a bitch the other day I was in my bag. She asked me, "What is that?" I said, "Oh my god, <laughs> oh my god!" But anyways, it's a beautiful place to stay. Facts. So, um, when are you gonna drop the next single? Um, after I uh, shoot the video, after okay. I drop the video, um, the next single is dropping, bro. Yeah. Next single is dropping is same type of energy, bro. No remix keep- with uh. True troops, bro. I it's something going there. on. I I don't want to talk about it. I ain't talked to okay, nobody about beautiful, it. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's like something that really got me hyped, bro. Okay. Like the person that want to get on this record mm-hmm. got me hype. Got me hype, but you know, I just mm-hmm. got to keep it low key until it, it happens. Because I don't want to say and say something, and then the people are like, well, it didn't happen. That's yeah. what niggas talk too far. Uh, but, you. Yo, niggas Can't reached tell out to the me. Plans before you but do it's a the it's a beautiful thing, bro. Like. I can't even like my life right now is just is 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 it's working, bro. It's just working. It's just like you know, and that's another thing like with alchemy, like some that's something I study and like, and and how this universe work, man. It's really putting that energy out there and believing in it, bro. And, it, and you know, shit happens, bro. Also, where can they find your music? Everything at Skip Rage. Just go to Spotify, type in Skip Rage. S K I P space R A G E. You know what I'm saying? And where can they follow you at? Everything is Skip Rage at Skip Rage at S K I P R A G E. All that, so all that the same shit. Instagram, like, Twitter, Instagram at Skip Rage S K I P R A G E. I'm gonna <laughs> keep repeating nigga. myself, brother. And nah, hey, you gonna nah. stop fucking my bitches? That's another thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know you fucking my bitches. No, I'm in Texas. Not. I'm about to find some of your hoes, nigga. I ain't got no hoes, man. Yes, I'm a, you, I'm like a Muslim them. man. Yeah, stuff all right, a lot. All right. Rock Metal Raheem. You feel me? Mm-hmm. For me, even though I'm off my dean and I'm drinking motherfucking cognac. Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> Do say <laughs> with my niggas. You feel me? Good times, bro. Good times. Yeah. Very, very good times. A lot of times, you did. Any any uh artists from New York that you would love to work with? Um Yo, it's this dude, uh Jay Critch. I think uh Yeah. Yo, yeah. I like it's this hard. shit, bro. Um, the Thousand Ways. I love it. I love that shit, bro. It just I've been bumping that song, man. That's all I kept What's it, what's the old boy's name though? Um He fuck with Mob Mob Deep. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you do, he from Queens. From Mob Deep? Nah, I don't I don't No. I don't be knowing everybody like you My know, it's a couple of people out here. Crip nigga. I fuck with. Um I like Besides somebody I like that I would work with, but I don't. I don't no, no, no. I, really I don't understand that, that but, but I would love to see you guys do a mixtape together because he got bars too. You would have to. I have to take out my phone and be Every, Everything again. with me, every it's not even like I right, when it's bars to you, I don't know, but everything is just to me is about it's about the formula that I have. No, no, he got the formula. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, he got okay, the bars okay, too, okay. but bars. he got the formula. It's just talking. It's talking what I live and talking through my experiences. And like I like motherfuckers that just talk the shit and I believe it. I'm like, all right, I fuck with you, homie. But I high energy and, and it gotta be inspiring, bro. You know what I mean? Like that's why I like the Jay Critch kid. That, you oh know what man, I'm saying? his energy is crazy. Motherfucker said, "Got it." Who he said, "Got to get the um, pay mama rent." Some shit he was saying. I was like, right. "This shit is." And he cleared his mom's credit. Yo, in bro, real life. That's what's up. Yeah, that's that's what's what up. it is. I mean, that's what my goals is, man. I want to make sure my mom's good. My mom took right. care of me my whole life. I ain't got my pops. My pops died a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's like I I got to do it, bro. I got to make it happen. I feel and, you. And, and shit is happening, bro. It ain't just the music. It's, it's bigger than the music. Bigger bro. than music. It's bigger than the music. But Shout out my nigga Cameron. It's bigger right. than music. You heard this shit. It's always. Shit. It always is, man. So, um... Besides that, okay, so we got over 
after you drop this single, you're gonna drop another single. It might be another remix. I got a thousand songs though. Don't, don't, don't get I that dig twisted. you. I know you got it in the. I know you got you it in got the songs boat. in the back. I feel you. I got songs in the back. So, um, South by yeah. what you looking like? Well, right now I'm out here. My homie, uh, Brie Burley, You know what I mean? She out here doing her thing. Um, I got about two or three shows. Yeah, I'm ahead perform whatever, whatever. Um, but besides that, I'm out here working. We out here working. Brie Burley. Um, she got a show with Riff Raff. Yeah, on the twenty. 20- 24th. 24. 24th with Riff Raff. Where is it? Clearport. Oh, no, no. Empire Control. Empire Control. Room. Empire Control. Room. Sorry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all did it at the same day. Y'all both was like, <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Blaze. So, yeah, about Empire that Control life. Room on the 24th Empire is. Dope. No, Empire is lit. And a uh, homie from Brooklyn actually owns that spot. Yeah, Ninja. For, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Shout, shout out to Shinobi Ninjas. You see, they stickers everywhere, man. Stickers. Niggas from the bottom. Too many yeah. stickers. Even yeah. out here, them twins and shorty. Oh, my gosh. Facts though. Anything else you gotta say before we into all of this motherfucker? Yo, listen, man. We out here, skip rage, Brie Burley. You know what I mean? We on this goddamn station, you know how the fuck we doing. We give it up. Oh, oh, oh hold on. Where you performing at? Did you say Pacific Spots? Yo, listen. They gonna follow me and they gonna say Oh, okay. Follow my nigga. Is. That's what it is. If you miss the shows, my nigga yeah. will probably be drunk and faded for it. Cause I already know how my I'm nigga rocking. Hopefully he got a connect so that way I can get a wristband. Cause yeah, I don't him. have one. Got him. Don't worry <laughs> about it. We're gonna get you, bro. We're gonna All get you. Right. Yeah, you know I'm saying. But anyway, yo, just stop fucking my hoes. Yeah, and sir. yo, this was a dope I ass show. Peace. Shaft. Let me get one and I'm Muslim. One day, I don't have sex with anybody. Yeah, <laughs> Allah, Bismillah, yeah. Rahman Rahim. He gonna stop fucking my bitches. That's what he gonna stop doing. <laughs> we out of here. Fly he horse. The beginning of this shit. Fly horse radio, the worst radio station in the world. Shout out my girl Burlesque. Shout out my nigga Skip Rage. Shout out my nigga Blaze. My nigga Ben Aroni. Ben Aroni's partner. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. My sound man in the back with the red hat. We lit. All right, peace. Shout out to Jacob with no makeup. <laughs> Jake. <laughs>